Ms. Khan says, I lived in a rotation house for many years and I never want to do it again after this, followed by a melting face emoji. And that is so relatable. The reason that I have such a special interest in intra-household aggression cases is absolutely from my own experience uh, of living in one. Intra-household aggression is one of the more emotionally draining and just overall draining behavior concerns that one can be faced with. And this is because there's no break from it. It is happening 24 seven. And when you get to the point that you are rotating dogs in a multi-dog household, it honestly becomes very normalized. That's just what you do. But that doesn't mean that the toll that it takes on your resources is not stupendous. I lived for about five years in a home with six dogs in two separate groups. Um, and one dog from each group would um, attack each other on site. So it was like two layers of separation and a management oops had really dire consequences. The smaller dog almost died um, in the first giant fight that the dogs had, and they were never together again successfully after that. And we lived that way until my older girl passed away. I would not wish that situation on anyone. And I find great meaning in being able to support people who are um, going through similar situations and working to reintegrate their family, looking to feel whole again. And even in the situations where that's not possible, I find a lot of meaning in supporting people um, as they make the decisions that they have to make and as they craft new ways of living. I think it's also made me just um, much less risk tolerant when it comes to dog-dog relationships in the home. Um, I have a keen eye towards high arousal situations, tight spaces, potential resource guarding. And that makes me an excellent behavior consultant because I'm really good at seeing the patterns that emerge in these cases. And I can often help people prevent things that are going to happen or are likely going to happen if things continue as they are. And I think one of the trickiest parts really is that piece of loving to let's say dogs so much with your whole heart and soul and watching them harm one another um, or watching one harm the other. And that doesn't show up in every situation, um, but when it does, man, that's hard. That's really hard. I would absolutely say the other two behavior uh, concerns that come to mind that are um, so resource intensive in that way are um, separation anxiety and family directed aggression. It is not for the uninvested.